outlining your perfect YouTube sales funnel for 2020. Hey there everyone, these past training lessons have walked you through the manual strategies that are going to get you started on the right foot. And now, we're about to get into the brainy stuff. The strategies that will help you plan, improve, optimize, and scale. And we are going to start by teaching you how to outline the perfect YouTube sales funnel for 2020. In this lesson, you'll learn how to develop a funnel according to your content efforts and what types of videos you'll have to produce to move each viewer into your funnel. Step number one, identify goals and set stages. It is important to identify what the goals of a sales funnel are and to set them in order before you set up the stages in your funnel. In this training, we're focusing on driving sales and making profit, yet the majority of your business leads won't move right into the bottom of the funnel, ready to make a purchase. That is why it is vital to establish different goals to capture leads at different stages. You have to see the sales funnel as an inverse pyramid that goes from top to bottom. On top are the leads that are less likely to convert, the leads that may not even be aware of your brand and that you have to suck in. In the middle are the leads that are aware of your brand and are interested in your offer. And in the bottom, are the leads that are ready to get their hands on your product. Let's establish goals for each stage in the funnel. At the top of the funnel, your goal is to drive awareness. That is, awareness about your brand or your product or your service. The intention is for the user to become aware that you exist, regardless of their desire to consume what you offer. At the middle of the funnel, your goal is to drive interest and consideration. Once a lead sees you as a trustworthy authority, they'll keep hanging around, watching your videos, either because you are a trusted source of information or because your products offer a real way to solve an issue or need in their life. Notice that at this point, you can also drive desire. This means that the lead is not only considering your product, but is actively desiring your product. Yet there is an objection stopping the lead from taking action, such as price, or maybe they need to learn more about the product before making a purchase. Finally, at the bottom of the funnel, the goal is to drive action. This is when a lead is ready to convert by signing up for a trial or making a purchase. Step number two, make a content audit. The next step is to audit your channel to make a content inventory. What you'll do at this point is to check the content that you have in your channel and to take notes about the different types of videos that you have produced. And you are going to analyze how each video can help a lead move from one stage to another. Doing this will help you to better identify at what point of the YouTube content life cycle you are in. For example, you might find that you have more videos that are simply optimized to help people find your videos on YouTube, but that don't push your brand or products too much. Or you may find that you have lots of videos that are centered on your products and that are designed to put viewers in the mood for purchasing. By taking inventory of the different videos you have, you can fine-tune your content strategy to match the goals you need to achieve at each stage of the funnel. In other words, you can find out how many videos you have to create to have an equal number of videos for each stage. This is especially helpful if you're just getting started. Step number three. Plan your content mix for each stage of the funnel. By this point, you know the mindset that will push viewers into each stage in a YouTube sales funnel, and you have a clearer idea of the type of content that you need to produce to balance things out. But to properly balance your content mix, you have to apply a content split for each stage in the funnel, and we found out this to be the perfect content split for your mix. 40% of content for the top of the funnel. This means that 40% of your content has to be intended to reach leads. In other words, search friendly videos that are not necessarily about your brand, but about entertaining things that your audience likes. 40% of content for the middle of the funnel. This means that another 40% of your content will be intended to showcase your products in a context that is familiar to your audience using storytelling techniques. 20% of content for the bottom of the funnel. This means that the last 20% of your content will be intended to encourage your viewers to take action, or at the very least, to find your product videos if they're actively researching them. And that's it, folks. 
You can design an agency-level sales funnel for your YouTube business in three simple steps. Guaranteed. Are you curious about what types of videos work best for YouTube business and which ones perform best for each stage in the funnel? Then tune in to the following lessons.